Before we ride our horses, we like to braid their tails. The reason I braid a tail is because when the tail's hanging out like this, if you're stopping or turning or doing anything like that, there's a really good chance that they'll step on their tail with their back feet. And not only does it pull their tail out, it can sometimes be risky for them, uh, you know, just losing their balance or any number of things like that. So we like to braid the tail. One thing that's important to me is I like my tails to be clean and, uh, and brushed. So you can run your fingers through them pretty easy. I don't brush a tail before I braid. I don't brush it out real strong. Every time you brush a tail and you're pulling hair out, that's just that much less hair that you have. So to keep your tails full and thick and looking nice, we like to just by hand go through them. Okay, make sure that you got all the knots out and you just go through them real light with your hand like that, okay? So then I do that, I've got my tail in three equal parts and then I'll just braid it up. And with a horse whose tail is thick like this, I'll go ahead and use two rubber bands just so I don't have to mess with it halfway through. I don't have to worry about that rubber band breaking. So I'll braid that tail right down to where I've got, you know, three or four inches left. And then I'll use two rubber bands, especially on a thicker tail like this. Just wrap it twice. It's not too tight, but it's tight enough where it'll hold. And that tail will stay out of the way that way. See, it's not flopping around. They're not going to step on it. It's got a nice, neat look to it. And that's why we braid our tails.